Hello everyone, my name is Kent and welcome back. Today's video is an update to a previous project to create a tool to help machine operators inspect parts while the part is still being machined. How this works is a high-speed camera captures a still image of the part in the exact same position for every rotation. The position of the part is monitored by a spindle encoder, which is attached to an FPGA. An FPGA is comparing the spindle position to an angular set point set by a second encoder by the machine operator. And this allows the machine operator to change the position where the camera is taking the image so that the feature of interest is in view of the camera. The FPGA then triggers this camera using a electrical signal and the camera sends the image over to a small TCP IP server which performs de-warping, cleans up the image, resizes it and compresses it. A second TCP IP server is collecting information from Linux CNC, the machine position, the G code file, the currently executing line out of the G code, and provides the, those two servers provide the necessary information to a small client. In this case, the client is a, a Raspberry Pi 4 with a battery backup system on the back, so make, that makes this portable. The Raspberry Pi has a client program on it that has attached those two servers or overlaying the image with those values, drawing a toolpath on the image as well, the last few seconds uh, and the currently executing line from the G code. And this is all to provide uh, context and uh, of what the machine is doing. The display is a head mount display. That's a viewfind uh, plus. The environment's not blocked uh, like it might be with a full VR headset. The display could also be a uh, LCD panel, which is by the machine. And this would replace uh, a DRO, for example. But in addition to the machine position, you have all that other information. Another application of this is to allow the operator to move to a remote location, especially if a dangerous operation is being performed on the machine and there's no guarding. The operator could still inspect the part while the machine is operating, but from a safe distance. Another application would be to allow the operator to monitor several machines using one display, again, possibly in a remote location. Because this is a client-server architecture, the operator can switch between uh, any number of machines and maybe receive a signal from a server which is reporting that a machine has, is having a problem, instantly move the display over to that uh, particular machine. If this demonstration has done enough to pique your interest, please add a comment about how you would use this hardware or how you would like to see this hardware be improved. Also, consider liking the video and subscribing. Until next time, thank you.